A visit to Harmony House, where its boss, Barry Harmon, shares thoughts on social issues in upcoming album as he gets set for Love and Harmony Cruise 2018. We will also hear from Love and Harmony headliner. Can you hear what I say? Marcia Griffith, Sanchez, Pitt, and Dina Mai. The dance so king weighs in on who is best qualified. Mr. Podcast of my town. To wear Queen of Dancehall Crown, deserted by Lady Soul. Some girl grudge me to the life I live. Curvy Diva Yannick debuts our stage with her much anticipated lifestyle. Book ever up. And will weigh in on lots of topical issues. Born bless, God bless a child like this. All coming up right here on our stage, plus this week's e news reviews and more. Welcome to the show, everyone. I am Winford Williams. We'll be back. Some gonna know what I life is. Life woman live till them not the nice. Reaching more and more screens around the world every week. On stage. So much more than entertainment. Who is the queen of the dance hall? That's a question Beanaman answers right now. Come and meet me at my front door tonight. Is there a queen of dance? Well, the queen or of no? dance hall baptized in her. Mariana, the queen of dance hall baptized. Yeah, so I, 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 am, I am here to see the next queen to come. So many are calling Spice the queen. Yeah, well, she's the one that step up to the plate, but that's not how you become a queen. Mm. You know, because if you got to take a lady saw crown, you have to do a lady saw do it. Like, no disrespect. You can do less work and and, mm -hmm. and and and. But she's the designated queen at the moment. Yeah, she's the designated queen. Yeah, I like that. Let's re repeat that again. <laughs> <laughs> so, so <laughs> what? Repeat that word. <laughs> the designated <laughs> queen. Yeah, thank you very much. I like that. That like is that. the correct term for it. But, yeah, that is the correct term. But, but would you say that some, she's the queen elect? The, well, <laughs> yeah. Queen elect. Well, that, <laughs> yeah, that is that. even better. Yeah. Um. So what would make her? Queen becomes that that artist that you know she spice in Jamaica she spice everywhere Jamaican is she spice everywhere Caribbean people is mm -hmm. she need to be spice for the, the American and the, the British people you know we're not talking about watching Instagram and talking and talking about some reaching the people ears right way being that artist that we can sit down in Jamaica and look on you on the MTV and look on you on the VH1 and say all right she have done it and she have reached that point and that, you know, yeah, because Lady Saw did it. She come out and did it all by herself. You see mm -hmm. me, I say. Yeah, yeah she's the queen elect. Okay. No disrespect, because people been saying that she's the, the queen. Huh? So them elect her queen. Bunny, bunny, bunny. It's that time again for the Big Pan Grand Finale happening tomorrow in Kingston, Jamaica. Here to tell us all about it is the new face of Pan at CB Foods. Come on, Burke, right now, right here on our stage. Come on. How are you, man? Blessings, man. Welcome, congrats. Respect. Thanks, thanks. You're running this entire season, right? Yes. The 2017 season? Yes. So how much of a challenge has it been for well, you? Well, it's working on the show for the last year and a half, pretty much. Mm -hmm. it's, it's, it's just really seeing the, 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 the behind the scenes the stuff. You understand? Speaking a lot more with the sponsors and, and organizing with the with the various suppliers. Mm -hmm. uh, but it's it's 12 years, the foundation was laid. It was literally almost rejigging it. You okay. understand? We're not recreating the wheel. Mm -hmm. We're just trying to improve on the on the wheel year after year. So looking back at the 12 years, yes. the pan event, mm -hmm. how has it impacted the, the growth of the sector? Well, what we find is that pan vendors, they go beyond just the pan on the roadside. Mm -hmm. Several persons over the years have opened their own restaurant. Okay. Last year's winner, she has her own restaurant in Linstead. Uh, the second place, he's now a head chef at one of the hotels down by Negril's side there. Mm -hmm. uh, we, are, we also have others who have expanded their pan business to have other pan vendors working for them. Oh. You understand? So, in fact, this year we have two teenagers one from the regional one, one from regional two, mm -hmm. who are in this year's competition. They're both 18 years old. They're oh. in school and they are pan vendors nonetheless. 
because they want to create opportunities for themselves to even send, send themselves to school. Oh, nice. So we can say that the, the pan business or pan vendorship, if you want to call it that, yeah. is actually growing and persons see it as a viable option. So talk about the event now, the big event this year, um, who's on it? Well, tomorrow we will have Agent Sasko, mm. Christopher Martin, and of course, Sizzler. We, they're all ready. We, I spoke to a couple of them today, and I can tell you that they are eager for the show. And you're, there, there is something that's really in store, or something big for you. Last year we did very well. Oh, yes, Sanchez yes. did amazing. Uh, and this year, I promise you, the, the, the show, will be even better than last year. And the access is the same? The same access? Free? It's absolutely free of entry. All we ask, let's come with the family. Mm -hmm. There is something for everybody. There is a Monster Mill Kiddies Village for the kids. Mm -hmm. And we have 28 pan vendors, as well as the three top place finishers from last year. We have Rainforest, we have Copperwood Pork, we have Bad Dog Sausages. Mm -hmm. National will be doing some stuff. Uh, we also have Miracle will be doing some stuff. So there's a lot of food. Regardless of what your palate is, regardless of what you eat, it will be there at Pan right here in Kingston. And you'll be crowning a champ for a 2017. A brand new grand champion. So the venue is the Transport Centre in half a year, right? Yes, we had an amazing show last year spanning from the Transport Centre into the streets and into JN, which housed the, the Kiddies Village. Uh, we absolutely believe that the, per that the people loved it and we're delivering once more. Okay. All right, there you have it. The event to go to tomorrow in Kingston and it's happening at the Halfway Tree Transport Center in the center of Kingston, of course. Stay with us, still to come right here on stage, a visit to Harmony House where its boss, Beres Hammond shares thoughts on social issues in upcoming album as he gets set for Love and Harmony. 2018. We will also hear from Love and Harmony headliners, Marcel Griffiths, Sanchez, and Beanie Man. But first, Curvy Diva Yannick debuts our stage with her much anticipated lifestyle. Reaching more and more screens around the world every week. On stage, so much more than entertainment. When she announced in March that she was making the transition to recording artist, it was met with the usual naysaying associated with the popular figures venturing into music. But after dropping her first single in April, people's minds started to change as the track garnered enviable backing among women in dancehall. Racking up over a million views on YouTube alone, the single is titled Lifestyle. Some girl watch me to the life I live. And the performer is TV personality Yannick Barrett, famously known as the Curvy Diva, who is on our stage right now with the long-awaited world premiere of her lifestyle. The music video, that is. <laughs> Yannick, welcome. Thank you. Good to have you. Nice being here. Oh, yeah. <laughs> okay, so it's been six months mm -hmm. since you released this single, mm -hmm. and only now releasing the visuals. Yeah, I mean, we waited until the, you know, the energy, everybody love it, and we said, all right, you know, it's the perfect time to, you know, do the video, so it was intentional. Okay, so it's yeah. a very well-set strategic plan. Yep. Congrats, by the way. Okay. You. <laughs> for venturing into music because not often we yeah. see people winning like you are winning when they make this transition because mm -hmm. you're a very strong TV personality and radio personality yes. too, right? Yes. And you've decided to go music and people would have been, oh, well, there, there they go again. Mm -hmm. But you were sitting on, on talent. All oh, this time, is it? Not yes, not true? yes, yes. My key thing was, and I keep saying it, the industry. I really didn't like it, per se. And I was like, you know, it's hard for females. And, you know, I go in, I work with a producer, and he'd be like, yeah, man, you have talent. But like, we had to, but 
You get a little mm -hmm. squeeze here and there. And I was like, you know what, if this are gonna make me boss, me just now about on. <laughs> so okay. that was it. So I kind of stay out of that. But yeah, Good Good came along and they're like, you know what, I feel you have talent. And I was like, boy, I kind of put on music. But he's like, no man, try it. And just believing in me without even hearing me. And went ahead, booked the studio, had it, you know, I went in the booth and did my thing. He's like, yo, strike one, <laughs> that's it. So my understanding is, is that it's a hit already, especially among females. Yes. In dance hall. <laughs> mm -hmm. All right, and the video is here. For the first time the world is going to see. Oh, yes. Let's go to it right now. Sure. Some girl grudge me to the life I live. Them not like me because the wife I is. Some girl don't know what my life is. Life for me, tell them that I deny this. Why me take your money and I'm not style like this? My born bless, God bless a child like this. That no good and in a tight life. Y'all are worried until we pass out a lifestyle. This. Them are talking about it, fear, it's still a shit. Wow. Yes, the wow <laughs> continues <laughs> with this lifestyle mm -hmm. project. Wow. Oh, my goodness. Nice. So the video is not disappointing anyone, I don't no, think. No, and it was fun. It was really fun shooting the video. I mean, everything from the Gucci store, we've been shopping a bit. Everything you see in the video is, is genuine, really driving the Lambo. You're more DJing here, but are you not? Able to sing as well? I can sing as well. Yeah. I sang something, um, I sang a song with uh, Kimani Mali called Turn Your Lights Down Low. We'll be shooting that video soon, so yes. all that excitement is going to be happening. Um, but in terms of, I think it's just growing up Adventist too. My family, strange enough, all my family is Adventist, so it's mm -hmm. me one on the outside. There's nobody there to say, boy, push it, you know, and kind of encourage me. So that was the main thing. So even doing, you know, hosting a dance hall show, all of that, it was my family at one point, my mom was like, boy, geez, really? So, so music was always in you? <laughs> always, mm. always. I used to boy back at church, you know, hear it, I play the sound system, I play and I'd be there around about DJing and a dance and, you know. Talk but, about family more then. Um, where, what community and so on? Well, as a song, so Max Maxfield Max from, for real. Yeah, but yes. I'm the last of, um, for my mom, so, you know, Pretty much born Maxfield Medical, all of that, but then we kind of come out of the community, so. Were you well behaved in Oh, no, my mom was a principal, so I didn't have a choice. Very, mm -hmm. very disciplined, very strict, so for me, it was fine. Being a good girl wasn't hard, because, yeah, mm -hmm. I didn't know what it was to go to a party. I went to the movies at the age of 18, so it was real Adventist, like a cult. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Woke up 5.30 in the morning for worship. You'll pass every subject um, in school, but if you don't pass, pass Bible, you won't graduate or you won't be, you know, it's, it, it was just that strict, so. So your breakout was really in the public, as a public figure, it was in television, right? Mm -hmm. And uh, how did your parents feel about that? Um, boy, I didn't, I didn't listen because at the end of the day, I was an adult. So, you know, I kind of said, boy, mommy, I know you're not going to be pleased, but. Because oh, she, she wanted yeah. what? You to be what? Who? She just wanted to me, me to be, you know, in church. I think that was the key thing. She wanted me to stay in church. But my love for music, my love for dance hall, and it started when I was, you know, in the dance on CVM. So it was, yeah, from there. So in growing up, what were you thinking of in, in your own mind, mm -hmm. apart from the music passion? Because you weren't serious when you were going to school, right? No. Korean music, I, it would, no, there was no support for that, and I think that was the key. So what were you studying to become? So, I'm um, same way on TV, mass communication, got a okay. scholarship for Northern Caribbean University, and was doing mass comm same way. So mm -hmm. I was born to be on TV, because that was my goal from ever since, so. And your parents yeah. were pleased with that? Well, that's a boy, you just make your choice, you make your choice. Them, they weren't pleased with you doing so mass comm. <laughs> they were like, no, but they, everybody got used to me, because growing up, I'm always the one to. They say, who going to host this? Me! Your big break was mm -hmm. really with Magdam, right? Magdam mm -hmm. Kings. Yeah. And Queens of yeah. the Dance And when I started that, I remember doing an interview, I think it was Flair, um, when I was talking about dance hall, uh, the show, just being a gig, and mm. that's not who I am and everything. And then after a while, I said, come on, like, why am I being fake? <laughs> Yes. I said, Mommy, I can't please you no more, and, and that's just it. At the end of the day, she's very supportive now. You understand? The family okay. is extremely supportive, and I mean, she pray for me every time. No matter what, I'm going mm -hmm. on the stage. It's Magnum, but she, she definitely pray for me, and she is extremely supportive. Other people outside kind of bash her and be like, boy, you're a prayer warrior, you're in you know, the church, and yet still your daughter is, you know, doing this and doing that. And she'd be like, you know, she choose her path. You don't know what will happen. I mean, you don't. So I was like, yeah, so give me a chance. Where 
we're seeing now is who you really, really are. And that's why I'm not. And I have been for a long time. Exactly. Closet <laughs> <in>. <laughs> I tell you. Yeah. Mm -hmm. You're also the face of body enhancement oh, in Jesus. Jamaica. I realize. Yes. Lord, excitement. And I was like, oh my God. So I'm here in Jamaica all fabulous. Yes, man, everybody. Boy, oh, what is that? What is that? And then I go abroad. I'm there in Atlanta, you know, and I walk in the club and everybody kind of. <laughs> I was like, there is nothing different. There is no, you know, I go to Miami and there's nothing. So I'm like, why do you make us so close-minded? But hey, if it works and I'd be giving me attention, thank you. Okay, so <laughs> <laughs> you don't mind being, no. being called the face? No, sir, I'm fine. Are you being consulted by other women? Um, I don't know who is genuine, so I really don't give advice on anything. And at the end of the day, I didn't ask anybody permission or ask any question. I went ahead and did my consultation and mm -hmm. did what I want to do. So, yeah, so I, my advice is do what you want to do. Some say you didn't have enough um, justification for doing it because you were fine the way you were. I mean, people say whatever. If you feel your teeth crooked and you want to put on braces, you know what it does. <laughs> so. But when you look back at you then and now, when you put the two pictures it don't um, look so beside, far. Beside each other. Mm -hmm. Aren't you seeing um, that maybe you didn't need to do this? You're one of those who could have... And that is why, too, at the end of the day, persons speculate and think that, okay, a lot was done. And I think that is the biggest misconception. Is like, oh my God, and she did this, and she did the most thing. And I'm like, really? What, what I do? Me here, me take out ribs, me add oil in my hip and something. I never do not like that. But okay. if that is what is going to make you continue to talk about me. <laughs> so you don't speak about what you did? No, because they're really and truly, the picture shows there's not really much of a big difference. But you're bigger now. You used to be a slimmer. I'm bigger now. <laughs> yes. So, so that is a real way to put on. Of course, of course. And I need to lose it too. But I'm enjoying myself while losing it, so that's fine. What would you say to one who asks you if they should do it? First of all, I always said to, um, to people, love yourself so much that you want to do it, not that you hate yourself. I didn't get up and look in the mirror and say, I hate myself. I love me so much, I said, you know what, I can just fix up a little here and there, and I'll just do it, and I did it. Mm -hmm. So it's not that you hate yourself to the point you can't, you despise yourself. Okay. Do it because at the end of the day, I love me so much, I want to shape up some stuff. The diva war. Is that, <laughs> is that what it is called? <laughs> what it is called? With Miss oh, Kitty. Yeah. Where is that now? Um. I know where it is. The funniest thing is, we, we don't really talk, and I do have a problem. My thing is, it shouldn't have happened, and um, I load myself, and I think I've never like expressed, you know, this out public. I think at one point I reached a point where I wasn't enjoying what I was doing, mm -hmm. and to know that I was going to work every Saturday and just had to be faced with, we don't know what. I don't know if she's going to be in a good mood, a bad mood, whether what is going to happen. I don't know. So I'm walking on that stage into the fire every Saturday night, and after a while, my family, and even, you know, the, my friends, they're like, why are you doing it? You're not happy. And I said to myself, I will not allow an individual to draw me to that place where they're taking the power, taking my power, my power of being happy, my power of enjoying, you know, this, this platform. And I said to myself, that's it, enough is enough. And when I was attacked on stage, I said, you know what, I wasn't going to answer, because that's the right thing to do, to continue the show. But I really had to because I had enough because I don't know, like, you're going to take it to the stage, like, you do it already in the dressing room. We already have our issues before. And then you're going to literally publicly now try to tear me apart. I'm like, enough is enough. You need to stop. And that is, that is where, you know, it was. And, and that's what I did. And after that, no persons now expect me to continue answering or expect me to this. No. I made my point, and I, I'm, I'm good now, and I'm really good. She's the aggressor, you're saying? You the victim? Oh, jeez. Um, I mean, persons say it because it's obvious, but after a while, I realized, you know what? I don't want to be a victim, and I haven't played that whole victim role anymore. I think my thing but was... But you were it, at one point? It wasn't being Did a victim. Did you feel that way? No, because I would answer, and I would be aggressive if, you know, confronted. The problem I had, it wasn't playing a victim. It was where you took it. It oh. is on live TV. Right now, mm -hmm. I think I've passed that. And if we want to come and say hi, I'm, I'm honestly a past. I pass it, but can't bother. And okay. persons, when they bring it up, and they'll be like, people say, yeah, man, I can see a drop or this year drop or no. Well, I would say women in dance hall uh. <laughs> shift over. Mm -hmm. There's the Aishana. Oh. There's Sweet. Spice. Oh, yes, Spice, um, the queen of the stage. And, and the queen of the stage. You <laughs> yes. declare her queen, you think of she's course, the queen? Of course. I think once you put in the work, you have all rights to claim whatever you want to claim. So mm -hmm. she's good. She's fine. I think.
But I think when it comes on to female in dance hall, the thing is we are bashed so much as females. It's it's about time we just get over it. Come yes. on, man. The man them are dominate. You'll see Alkaline with French Montana. You'll see um, Popcorn with, with Drake. It's spice, spice out there now. You see, I would miss you Poodles to you, mama. Pave mm -hmm. the way for us. Give us some space. Make, you know, mm -hmm. do your thing so we know can kind of step up to the game. And that's, I like and that. And Aishana, your views? Of course. Her. Aishana, um, I, I put this thing I like Aishana. <laughs> that's mm -hmm. the craziest thing. The thing is, I like, I like Aishana. I like DI. I like all of them. I think... What we need to do is not be so emotional and not so caught up in everything. Just know that, hey, not fight each other, fight the game itself. Why fight each other when we already have it hard? I mean, do something. Jamaica is there. People are look, them are look. What's going on with the female dancehall artists? Mm -hmm. I'm glad, so really and truly, we are shout out now. Yeah. I'm glad what's happening. And I'm like, yo, make we keep it going. So Spice gone overseas and international, even more even more. Yeah, all the time now. Not gonna fight each other. Come, dust off yourself, the public, the world, are look. You know? Oh, what time? Spice PM do we have come? <laughs> That's uh, it. All right, so talk about your contract, your music contract with mm -hmm. Good Good. It's a good, good deal. It's a mm. very good deal. Um, I think Zoom is just a wonderful person. I think that's the key thing. You find somebody who is not only a good personality, but good character and, and very smart. And mm -hmm. I think that's the key thing. At times, I'll be like, no, and I'm stubborn. I'll be like, no, you sure? And he's like, just watch me. Just wait. And he'll say, easy, a little head. I'm like, all right, cool. And strange enough, it comes through. So I just have to just have faith, and I do, in my team, and I'm good. So it's a good contract, and it's a good look. And he's, he has survived a, a gun attack? When I found out that happened, my daughter called me. I was in London, and um, she called, and she was there crying. She's like, Mommy, Uncle Zoom got shot. And I was like, what? This is like 4 in the morning. And I was like, calm down, calm down, you know? And then afterwards, a girl from my phone you know, went off after that. My girlfriend called again. She's like, yeah, man, Jada telling, the, you know, it's the truth. It, you know, it happened. And I, was, I just lost it. I was like, I need to come home. I need to come home. And not until I heard from somebody close that they're like, listen, relax, he's good. Just work and come back, and um, yeah. But he's he's a fighter, mm. a survivor, a strong person. So it sounds like you want to take the world on in terms of yeah. dance, or of course. I mean, it's it's only crazy for you to have a simple goal when you come out to being an artist. You have to dream big, think big, aim big. And I think the good thing is we have the team, you know, Street Cred, my booking agent, and Good Good Production that you know is pushing and then the vision you know, the highest. And I think the good thing is, even with Zoom, sometime I first said to him, say, hold on. <laughs> like, you, he will envision be above and beyond. And I was like, me? Little down here? <laughs> and he's like, don't worry ahead. You know, he's always like, don't worry ahead, man, trust me. So having somebody who is as passionate about your career as yourself, it's, it's just an amazing feeling and it's family. Who are some of the people calling you, looking at you? Big calls and I'm excited about it. And when they come in, I kind of sit back with my, you know, my booking agent and they'll be talking about it. I'm like, they call for me. Mm -hmm. You know, I mean, they call for me. And they're like, yeah, they're doing the album and they want you on it. I was like, but you know, apart from big names abroad, overseas, um, I have local artists who are an international too, of course, of course, um, acting, have a song with him. Uh, January, a crazy song. <laughs> so Ooh. I can't wait to share wow. that one. Kimani Mali music video, Turn Your Lights on Do. It's coming. coming next. So yes. Looking no, forward to that. It's above and beyond. <laughs> so mm. It's crazy. Man, children, <laughs> we know you're getting a lot of oh. attention from, oh. from my gender. The funniest thing that you ask this, the crazy, it's, it's like, not really, you know. I don't know if guys are intimidated, um, so they really don't. And, and the ones who do step out is just not my type. So they'll believe that, okay, they can buy this and they can do all of that and they'll reach out. But the thing is, I, I don't know. I have, I just don't have any tolerance for foolishness. And I think if you're going to come, you're not only going to elevate my life, you know, mentally, you have to be emotionally, spiritually, you just have to make sense. Mm -hmm. And I think that's the, the thing. So I am at times lonely, but <laughs> strange, you know. I do, I, I am, you know, I do feel alone at times, but I'd rather be alone than to be dealing with stupid guys. <laughs> you don't want to be kept, right? Um, when, I don't know, being independent is just something that's so freeing. And I think that's, that's the strangest thing. I, I really want young girls to know that. Just being independent, being in control of yourself and, and know what direction you're going and, you know, making your own money. You, it's not that you need to be arrogant or aggressive, but you just need to understand that, hey, I will not tolerate foolishness. So if we're going to have date night, you're not going to find an excuse. You're not going to cheat. You're not going to have a bag of woman. 
and then assume that I'm going to tolerate it. I, I don't. I don't think we should. And if you look on yourself as a wife, why would you settle to be a matey? I, I just don't. So, so you would tie, then mm. you're not? Of course, with hesitation. Mm. Why not? I have all the qualities of a wifey. Eh? And the, so. uh, yeah, there's a daughter now, right? Ah, oh, yes, my baby girl. Are, are you going to have more? Of course. I'm going to have at least two, three more. After the career. <laughs> oh, okay. Well, oh, God. There you go. So you're, you're a, a typical church girl from Oxfield. Mm hmm Nothing so, I mean, all the glamour and all the... Yeah, the glitz and the glam, I mean... Uh, underneath I, I is that little girl from Oxfield. Yes. Um, mama's girl mm -hmm. from church. Yes. <laughs> and you're taking that all the way, aren't you? Mm hmm mm -hmm. You know, even if we're dead tomorrow, as long as I live the good life, and I... They genuinely don't want to be a hypocrite. I don't, if I'm not happy, I'm not happy, I'm going express it. I have to genuinely be happy, and I think that's it. So I take care of myself, I kind of shelter myself from the hate. So as much as you think that you're going to just continue bashing me and I'm going to be seeing it and listening to it, I don't. And I tell my friends, don't do that. Don't you bring that in my space. Okay. Yeah, so I'm always blessed and happy and genuinely happy, that's it. You are a happy girl. Thank you. Love it. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you for coming and sharing with us right here on our stage. Diva, Yannick, <laughs> Miss, Miss Barrett, mm -hmm. soon to be Mrs. Somebody. Oh, Jesus. <laughs> All right. So there you have her in this segment. Wow, what a chat. Stay with us still to come. Love and Harmony. Visit to Harmony House. Remember the song used to make you rap away. The big man, Barris Hammer. Reaching more and more screens around the world every week. On stage, so much more than entertainment. After a very successful inaugural staging last year, and it was yesterday. the second installment of the Love and Harmony Cruise appears to be on track to be sold out before year end. One of the chief organizers is, of course, Hot 97's DJ Jabba, who we caught up with at the studios of Harmony House. Love and Harmony! Last year, very, uh, a very successful inaugural staging. Beautiful. And uh, coming off that now, uh, where are you with this one? Last year was the first one. We give thanks for all the support. We had a couple of glitches. We had some complaints about the food and certain things, and we fixed that now. So we're ready for the second annual Love and Harmony Cruise, where we have so much great artists going to be performing from Barry Salmon to Sanchez, Marcia Griffins, Beanie Man the Doctor, Kevin Little, Rupi, you know what I mean? And so many more, Patrice Roberts, and the list just go on and on. Mm -hmm. Big up Chris from the door, he came on the cruise with his wife and him loved the vibe. So as a top restaurant in New York City, he must say, yo, get me involved. Let me take over the ship when it come down to the food. So now we are going to have Caribbean food morning, so noon food, and night. Food fix. Yeah, food <laughs> fix, 100%. And the head chef on this new ship where we're on, mm -hmm. the Celebrity Summit, he's a Jamaican man, so you don't know. And 90% of the staff is Caribbean. So them can relate to what we want and what we need. The ship switch, yes. so to speak, was why? Numerous things, basically more important the food. The food? Yeah, and for you... Because you have wanna, control over that now. Yes, right? full control over that. And you know, so everything else was great. But the biggest complaint was the food. And for you for depend on a ship as a vegetarian and you don't have vegetarian food, now a lot of people are going vegan, you know what I mean? So we have to have these things ready for every, each and every one. So you're sailing from Fort Lauderdale? Yes. Two stops this time? Two stops. Cause you don't know you have to crawl before you walk. So for the first year, we just do one stop because mm -hmm. it was the first annual. So this year now we're ready for two stops. So the first stop, we're going to leave from Fort Lauderdale to Montego Bay. Then from Montego Bay, we're going to go to Grand Cayman and then from Grand Cayman back to Fort Lauderdale to get to reality. The, the lineup speaks for itself. Definitely. Love and Harmony. Wow. Very mature. Soca, dancehall, reggae. reggae. And one big comedy show. How is it going? How are the cabins going? Where are you now in terms of selling cabins? Right now, I can't be more happy than I am because we're 65% sold right now as we speak. And then definitely after this on stage, we're guaranteed to be sold out. You know, we proved ourselves last year, I believe, because so much people from last year signed up on the ship. 
Okay, so the specials are off now, or over, or, or, or are you still promoting and giving away stuff? No, we're still giving away stuff here and there because you don't want to change what you're starting at the beginning. I see. I see you know what I mean? mean? Okay. So we're still going to give away one and two cabins because there's people out there who really want to be on this Love and Harmony cruise but really can't afford it. Look on last year when we gave away the cabin mm -hmm. to that lucky couple over we did on, oh, on yeah. stage. It was a, a beautiful thing. They had a great time. Oh, yeah. You know what I mean? That was the best um, wedding gift ever. Mm -hmm. And we have an entourage of parties this year. Like this year we have a 100% soaker room for all of the soaker massive with us one here, soaker music. We have another room where we're going to give you the 90s dance hall into the current dance hall. And then we have that smooth room there where you just want to hear singing music and just smooth go on room. easy. So yeah, some Dennis Brown and some Yabby See? You and them tune there, you know what I mean? And we have great DJs from all over the world this year come aboard, you know? We have DJs from Germany, like the Sentinel Sound and all these sounds. And we have um, sounds from Japan, from New York, Florida, Jamaica, a lot of radio DJs coming aboard and Bermuda. So, it's just going to be amazing this year. A full culture Caribbean cruise. So those who are excited now, Jabba, what do they do right now? What's the best way to get involved, to buy, to, to be a part of this? Well, the best way anybody watching on stage, I would give the one 800 number, but the one 800 number don't really work certain plots in the Caribbean. So the best number to get in touch with the Love and Army Cruise to book your cabins right now is 305-438-9488. That's 305-438-9488. 438-9488 or just log on to loveandharmonycruise.com that's loveandharmonycruise.com one word mm. wow yeah all right sir what else can i say blessed love but i'm big on butterfucker anyway him the card you know say my hide out and i shy out and I, you know <laughs> <laughs> and speaking of giveaway cabin giveaway on stage is again giving away a cabin to a lucky couple so start making your videos Start saying why on video you deserve the prize to Fort Lauderdale, Montego Bay, Jamaica, and Grand Cayman. Jabba and team will be taking care of all of that expense. Just log on to our on stage social media pages for how to enter. Do that right now and be the winner. She loves me now, and I just mean. Stay with us right here on stage, still to come. The love doctor, Beres Hammond. The king of the dance hall, Beanie Man. The queen of reggae, Marcia Griffiths. And Sanchez is also in the building. All coming up. Wow. Early morning, I got my paper, decided to read it. Reaching more and more screens around the world every week on stage. So much more than entertainment. Follow you to the moon and the sky above. And we're sitting now with Kevin Jackson. <laughs> no. Who is that? The Sanchez of Reggae. Yes. Sanchez, sir. Yes, sir. Good Maris to see you. Man. Good Mr. to see you. Williams. It's always a pleasure. Yo. Okay. I, I don't I was trying to see, wrap my memory to see if I've seen you ever build on a, yeah. a cruise before. One of the greatest things right now for me. Yeah. Yeah, is to be on stage with Mr. Hammond into a, what do you want to call it now? Harmony thing. It's all about love and, you know, just. Oh, wow. Just, Can you imagine your fans and his that's fans? That's what I'm saying. Yeah. And what and how much are they anticipating that? Yes, sir. Um, but have you done a cruise before? Yeah, mm -hmm. I have. So you 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 this one come like me embarrassed. <laughs> yes, yeah. me. This one here. Yes. And to your fans, you say. So just turn out, you know, mm -hmm. in in the numbers, because I know, I mean, always wanted to see this Sanchez and Barry Salmon. Mm -hmm. So. So it sounds like they'll be perform. You two will perform on the same stage at the same yeah, time. I would love that. If that ever happened right now, that's history, and you know that. Oh yes, yes. To see history. you both. History. Uh, you know, if it's even something that's already done, yes, we do it together. I know even my fans would love. That. And by the way, I, I I know you're doing your your school. Yeah. Stats. Mm -hmm. uh, that's in November as well. Yes, that yeah, that should be a special one, right? Yeah, man. 
whole of energy storing up the, for that concert, so, yes. All right, um, as for recordings and some things that we don't know that may be happening. Yeah, I'm recording, but, you know, just keep it hush hush. Mm -hmm. I don't want to bright up the thing yet. You know? Say. You know me do my thing. Well, yeah. <laughs> yeah, until you hear something come out, a nice Sanchez bad, but. Yeah. Well, Sans, yes. of we, course. We can only look forward here, yes. sir, and thank you for coming. And on. remember, mm -hmm. Saturday, March 24th. Yeah, but then you love me just a little bit more. Little bit more, just a little bit more. Yeah, man, you don't know it's all about the harmony cruise, you know? Love and harmony, we say. Yes. All right, now. I can't wait till the morning comes. Love and harmony cruise. Sanchez, bad like what? I'm okay, All right, very well. You know, Dad Soul is not to be left out of this big love and harmony cruise. The king of that song. <laughs> Blessings, my lad. Blessings, love. <laughs> when the last time I saw you on a cruise, yeah. I thought it was your best performance ever. That's right. my opinion now. Okay, sir. So if that is anything to go by, <laughs> then perhaps the best is yet to come. The best is yet to come. It's always yet to For come. For love and harmony. Yeah, because, you see, when you um, do a show on a cruise, you have nowhere to go. You're in the middle of the ocean. Yes. You understand? So all you have to do is just entertain yourself and entertain the audience. So I'm here to do music. I'm not here just to do a 30 minutes or a 40 minute set. I'm here to do my set. Mm -hmm. I'm here to do my band. I'm here to do being a man. So they were captive. Yes. And you gave them what <laughs> they were looking for. what they were looking for. So this, this is what you get when you come on a cruise. You get the best and the finest of the artists, mm -hmm. as, you know, what the artists can give. These mm -hmm. are people that listen to music all their life. You know, that's why them can come and say they're at Master Griffiths and Barry Sam and on this cruise. We are coming. See? But come along in come me. Forward along in come an elephant man. Forward along in come a Mr. Vegas. Then you have a Sanchez before them and before me. You are one of the few dance haulers who can go family. Yeah. Who does everything? <laughs> Seafood yeah, man, festivals, yeah, and Kai festival, every festival, and Kids, uh, um, all these daytime fun days. When you're an artist that you cannot sing for everybody, then you're not a whole soul name. Yes. But Mr. Woman, if you're fed up with your boyfriend, and your boyfriend having you now. Stuck. Bless man. Appreciate you coming and talking to us, sir. And again, we look forward to the performance at Love and Harmony. Celestia, bless bless you. So all my fans and well wishes again. Yes. <laughs> Turn out. You see, blessings. That's it. Go. I see the red All right, and now we're sitting with the queen herself. The queen of reggae, one of the big headliners for the love and harmony. Marcia, always such a pleasure. To same, be in company. same here, same it's, here. I know you're not, you're not a lover of the sea. Neither the air. But you have cruised before, right? Oh, so many times. Yes. And I love it. Yes. When, I, when, when I'm actually on it, and I love every moment of it. When you're there? Yes. But the, the, they're still struggling with making up your mind <laughs> and getting on the, on the boat. All right, so this one is your... Your friend. So, uh, how special is it? So special that I don't know if I can find an adjective to really describe. Oh, this is something that, that I've looked for. Every tour, every cruise that I've done so far, the audience keep asking, what happened to Beris? You know, it's you and Beris who want on the cruise. And this is when it's happening right now. So, you know, I'm looking forward to that. This is so special. They say you will. You're confirming that you'll be performing together. <laughs> we never share stage at no time and, and don't collab. And don't collab. So the fans can rest assured. Those of them who have been asking you. Yes. That they will get it. Yes. And those who have been asking, make sure to come. Make sure you don't miss that moment. A whole different experience. Cruising together is just something else. So what's going on otherwise? You you were telling me off camera while ago about your big song with gentlemen. No, it was part of the tour last year, the MTV Unplugged tour yeah. in Europe. And it was a big winter for you, right? Yes. It was such a big surprise for me. Mm -hmm. 
been there because all his shows are sold out. I mean, every single show is sold out. And they want you back this year? Yes. And so, will you be back? Well, I think so. Mm -hmm. I love working with him. He's such a fine human being, really nice. Oh, gentleman. Yes. He's really a gentleman. He may, he's a gentleman to the name, to, to every part. Oh, wow. He makes sure that you are comfortable and everything is right. He's just always on top of it to make sure that you're okay. Oh, wow. You're moving too hard. Wow! Cool down! Send out the last word to your fans about the cruise. I just want to make sure that everyone who has been asking me for years on the Four Seasons cruise mm -hmm. and also on Jamrock for berries, this is the moment. Please don't miss it. Plus, there are a host of other great entertainers. We just, my brother Sanchez was just here mm -hmm. and Elephant Man. I don't even remember some of them, but. This is a moment in time. Please don't miss it. I'll be there. So make sure you are there. All right. Well, there you have it from the Queen. Okay, so we take a break here. When we come back, we'll be hearing from the man himself, Beres Hammond, right here on this chair. We'll be back. Tell me what can you do to stop a man from trying? I want to know. Beres want to know that. Nothing you can do to stop a man from trying. Say that I want to know. Oh, yes, I want to know that. More and more screens around the world every week on stage. So much more than entertainment. And I'm sitting now with the man himself. What can you do to stop a man from trying? Some of us call him the love doctor of reggae. And he's the boss of this house. The house of harmony. Harmony House. Very, sir. Right, well, yeah. Thanks for having us, sir. Thanks yeah, for having us in once again in your studio once again. Yeah, um, Always a pleasure to have you. you know? Okay, great. Um, we didn't get a chance last year. I mean, the the inaugural staging of the Love and Harmony. We didn't get a chance to talk to you afterward. We haven't seen you since. We haven't been able to you know reason what? on camera. You know what? Me, man. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, well, it's true. Yeah, when I get a chance to sit down and chat about it, oh, wonderful it was. You know? Oh yes, it was. It was, it was a, for yeah. all of us, and that's what I want to hear it was from my you. First was my first cruise, and I mean, you so long up on a cruise, you know. Yes. Really, because the, being out there in the ocean, mm -hmm. can't go nowhere. <laughs> you, know? <laughs> you know, for a moment it feels kind of scary to me, but then after going on this one, you realize that it's almost like a world of your own, you know? Yes. A world by itself where everything just seems like it's land. Yes. And everybody out there having fun like nothing can go on, you know? Yes. So it was lovely and I enjoyed everyone's company. The artists, them, they were so, you know, nice and social and the people, God. Mm -hmm. Step aside now, another man wants to take over. You were very interactive with your fans. Yeah. You, at times, you're in the middle of them, yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> taking pictures like for yeah, yeah. for a long time. And mm. in a fact, long time, you, long time I didn't think this too. Yes. You know, so every little chance I get, I like to meet people and say thank you. Mm -hmm. You know, on a personal. You know, yeah, and you, you, yeah, because you're very comfortable with mm -hmm. them, and, yeah. and it's like you would give your soul to these fans. These fans love you to death, yeah, but and you me, give so much. Yeah, them give me for the moment, you know. Yes. I mean, I want to work on the bus as side man. Mm -hmm. Honestly, with no <laughs> respect to the side man, them, but I prefer for the music, and them help me for be in this situation. <laughs> so I'm glad I'm seeing you. <laughs> 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 They give me them love, they know me. Yeah. Yeah, so every chance I get to say thank you to them or even hug one, mm -hmm. it's a joy for me. And this particular staging, the, the lineup is very impressive. Mm -hmm. Lots yeah. of big vocalists. Yeah. And one of my big virgin, uh, Sanchez, the one, Kevin. <laughs> yes. Him, they funny two man. He's a virgin, hey, you see him? It's been years, man. Mm -hmm. And, and it's virgin, uh, one of the rarest voices that I've heard. I like every time we get together and we're on the same stage yes know? not necessarily working together but on the same stage show he always give 150 percent time time you know 
any, any, uh, any uh, chance uh, we could see both of you doing a song? You know, when I plan them things about anything, anything can go on. Mm -hmm. I would have loved that though. My voice gets few voice. And then I understand this year too, they also have a very good crop of soca. So much people have point. One beautiful lady, Sister Marcia Griffiths. Yes. A grace, you know, with her yeah. presence too. She's not normal. <laughs> well, uh, you should know that. No, I, I'm old, that's <laughs> where. Yeah, the man, she's tough, the man. If her picture and the, and, and the flyers and things go by, they got her smile on it. <laughs> so. No, she, so she smiled at the way. She, <laughs> to start for somebody. <laughs> yeah. No man, she she's uh, she's got this this look that makes you want to go to this cruise. That's true, man. Marcia and this yeah. picture. So we have to show better than me look at so. No man, you good man. You look like a for come. You look like a man who went last year, mash up the place, get rid of the phone with and the, I smile the phobia. <laughs> <laughs> yeah man. You know what I mean? But look no man, yes. clean me up. I would advise some some people to come. Mm -hmm. Because I've never had so much fun in a long time. The last one, you know, I wish we could have spent probably about two more days out there. When we finished no more, I realized, well, I'm, why didn't we have had two more days? Because it yes. was really, really nice, clean fun. It, it, you don't know how it feels until you go. Until you go. You cannot yeah. imagine it. You can't, no. you, can't, you, can't, you can't say a lineup and show mm -hmm. and performers. No. It's a whole different it's experience whole different, you know? on a ship. And only when you go, you will understand. It owns Intimate. you more. There, there was more ownership of my yes, soul. Yes, yes. In the moment. You know, I'm nowhere for going up. Right. It's not like your drive out, go to Portmore when the show is done. Right. You have to stay right there, so. And, and this is what brings people together to you, know. You're out on the ocean for so much days. You better be friendly with everybody. You understand? So no doubt you'll be you'll be planning something special for them then there's this time the second time around. No, I always give myself, you know, whatever I have I just give. Yes. And I don't hold back nothing at all. So and I think everybody understands that about me. Mm -hmm. You know, me don't know what can stop me from wanting to sing and yes. sing a song well. And it was yesterday. I saw you. Of an, of, uh, of an album coming out. That's that's. It's never on the title yet, but all the tracks are ready and them things. Oh, right. so I was looking. I was thinking that maybe we could have it out for the Christmas season. Mm -hmm. You know, I really want a long time and I've not known the man. So how long? How long has it been? Could be about four or five years. Wow, your catalog is so huge, so deep. There is nothing, nowhere in music, any space, whether it's listening, party, mm. cruise, whatever. Whatever. Mm. Barry Salmon is in the playlist somewhere. So it, mm. it, and the music, as you say, you sing the song well. You just said it. Yeah, man. The, the, these songs were done well. Yes. And as such, Barry's is Barry's. True. Timeless. So one doesn't put a time on oh, when this was done. Out, uh, yeah. No. I hear you know. Consistency of quality. You're saying that them can't work with what one. Them can't work with anything you mm. in your catalog. And yeah, it's, yeah, it's, it doesn't sound dated or, or timed. I'm sure, but you know, every single day you wake up, mm -hmm. you wake up with new inspiration. And when I get a new inspiration, I need for it to be out there. Yes. I need for people to be listening to what my thoughts are now. You understand? Mm -hmm. So this is why I may say it's about time for them here. what my thoughts are about this situation and that situation, politically and otherwise. Oh, well, I don't know. You know that? So we're looking... No, but I get you so <laughs> politics in the time. And there's some... No, but no. Well, social commentary. Yeah, yeah true, true. Mm -hmm. Okay, we're all part of this, this existence true. and whatever is affecting artists, like even the great berries, is mm -hmm. affected by what's going on true. around us. Mm -hmm. So we're, we're likely to hear your own thoughts on some of these issues. This is what I'm saying. Yeah. yeah so I hope so it can come out, you know, for the, for the um, Christmas season. Oh, yes. Um, wow. Because again, that's a time when people, I notice with my product, people always use them to, to give gifts mm -hmm. to people. You know, they come and they buy X amount of CDs. Oh, yeah. And they go out and give them to, you know, 
workers and mm -hmm. studying. You know, so it would be a good thing. So you were giving them something to give and yes. to share. Yes. You're sharing yes. your thoughts yes. with all of us, mm -hmm. and they can share that package yes. with their love, love ones. It out, yes. Yeah, man. Yeah, I like sure. it. I love it. Yeah. And yeah. you have to go meet that deadline, you know. You know. <laughs> like yeah, the, the, Christ, the Christmas. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I try to eat, man. I try. Yeah, because yeah. like we said, the tracks are all there, you know. It's just to set up the package properly, you know, and all yeah. that, you know, the marketing and whatever. Now, baby, what do you expect of me? Just stand in the middle of the road. Let something run over me. All right, Barry, just take the cameras and just tell your fans why they should come to this staging of the Love and Harmony Cruise. That, that is so easy. Mm. I'll be there. And all my wonderful entertainer friends will be there. We have Marcia, we have Sanchez, we have Mr. Vegas, Lost Popeye, Beanie Man, <laughs> Elephant, mm -hmm. IT and Fancy Cat, and um, players and, and partner. Yo, you have too much reasons to come, man. Plus, mm -hmm. you just have to relax every day and then wait till showtime. And, you know, it's too beautiful. Come, come see. Yeah? And feel. All yeah. right, there you have him. Yeah. Barry's Hammond. Hold on, hold on, hold on. People, people, people. <laughs> yes, we even with the dub plate. Yes. I share my intro. <laughs> <laughs> intro nice the thing. Well. Intro the thing, man. What? Nobody can't. <laughs> no, Nobody can't. Our uh, fans yeah. over the years just request. Yes. This particular package. Yes. So we are just yeah. honored and it. happy. I'm honored. Yeah. I'm honored. Honored. Yeah, honored. So. You hear that? Now go walk left. Like, you, you take. So, take away from you. Because you still play that. See what thing. <laughs> oh, if you should hear me calling, but you stop what you were doing. I'll be over. To see what's going on. If you should see me crying, would you assist in bending a heart that has been broken? Oh, it could be you, yes. And me, with a life so free. <laughs> Kevin, walking by the right away. Right away. Right away. Yeah. Well, I want you to be a chance of, of a lifetime and a life shown compassion and the said to me a strong love for you. <laughs> <laughs> I love it. I love it. We're going to love this, you know? Yeah, go on. So all in all, them little room. <laughs> <laughs> Do nothing I'm coming. <laughs> all right, all set and ready for love and harmony at sea. Also looking forward to seeing so many of you in the flesh. And that's where we leave you this week, Winford Williams, on behalf of all of us. Thanking you for joining us. Do join us again next week for more on stage. <laughs> Girl, when you're wrapped up in my arms, then sing to the reggae song. Say, feel good, feel good, yes. Now I feel good, because your perfume is not loud, and only I can talk about it. Feel good, feel good. Do you feel like a bit rubbing over my skin? And when your hair dances on the my chin, wish we were alone, baby. Yes, it's just the two of us. Cause every move you make gives me that word. Girls, why some more sure? <laughs> Unconditional means make me leave we are alone. alone. Just you and me. Take the problems and leave them behind. Don't let it show. Go, baby, go, baby, go, baby, go, baby, go. Such a, such a. Say I feel good. Girl, when you're wrapped up in my arms, dancing to a reggae song. Yeah,
I suspect you like that video. For more, click and be on our stage our way.